It didn't have a lot of aesthetically pleasing aspects, but as I look back on it, that was part of its charm, just how kind of absurd the whole place was. Incubus came through a million times. I mean, Pearl Jam. Two Skinny Jays, Goldfinger. Red Hot Chili Peppers, 311 was always on the bill. Smashing Pumpkins, Green Day. Blue Moon Ghetto, there was Secret Skin, Old Boy Network. Better Than Ezra. Straight out of Junior High. And then, you know, Matt would bring in people like Vanilla Ice, which was hilarious. Every band that was on their way up went through the Ranch Bowl. They would say, you realize there's no place like this in the world. The bowling alley, a music venue, a pool hall, a radio station, a bar in Genoa where everybody hung out, it was everything. It was pretty cool. And it was also kind of a <laughs> hole too. <laughs> and now it's a Walmart. How <laughs> fitting is that? The Ranch Bowl is now a Walmart, and Peeney Park is a Hy-Vee.